kalimutan, no? Ayan. James. First. Orcales. Okay. Ayan. Buti na yung sinusulat. Para hindi nalilimutan ni Miss Payne. Okay, run mo nga. Tingnan nga natin. Okay. Both of the condition are true. Ay, hindi ka pa tapos. Isa pa lang yung ano mo. Isang line pa lang yung ano. Okay. Mom and, and operator lang po. Hindi nga. Yung ating IA output. Teka ha. Share ko yung ating output. Okay. Present. Ako sama din ko yung or. Ah, okay. Tingnan ko nga ulit yung ano mo, code mo. Teka, teka. Share mo nga ulit. Teka lang, huwag ka makulit ko talaga. Yan ka lang. Oh, sige. Talinahan to ka, matulog ka dyan. Oh, yan, matulog ka dyan. Okay. Both conditions are true. Uh, hindi ko na-gets. Teka lang. I -i -i Irong mo yan. Urong mo siya. Dito, dito. Sige, yung output, ilagay mo dun sa kabila para makita natin. Yan, yan. Tabi mo dyan. Yan. Okay. So, okay. Int mo ang value. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> Tama, gumawa ka. <laughs> gumawa ka. Dinawa mo yung logical end. Which is, ayan, lumitaw nga yung both conditions are true. Very true. Tamang-tama ka dun. Pero, ang, ang gusto ko kasing output ay ito. Ayun. Doon tayo, yun tayo hindi nagka, nagkaintindihan. Okay. So, isishare ko yun sa akin. Tama ka dyan sa iyong ano, no? Ang condition ay kailangan tayong mag-output ng logical end. Tama naman siya. True yung output, no? Okay. Okay. So, walang problema dun sa ano mo, sa sa ano mo, sa sinishare mo, no? Okay. Ang ano natin, ang issue natin dun sa ginawa mo kasi meron tayong specified na output, no? Okay. Iano ko lang ito. Nag-ano na? Hindi. Ayan. So, sasarduhan ko lang ito. Okay. So, irarun ko ulit. Okay. Ito kasi yung gusto kong lumabas, no? Okay. Dito kasi, sa code ko, no? Ah, uh, lumitaw yung uh, gumamit ng ibang operators, no? Pero, pwede mo pa rin kasing palabasin, okay, na ano dito, itong mga operators na to, given na puro lahat, ang condition mo ay end operators. Anyway, okay, sige, given, uh, tama yung ano niya. <laughs> okay, kulang yung aking explanation dun sa aking output. Okay, start sharing ako. Okay, sige. O, nakakalito yung aking instruction. <laughs> sorry po, sorry po. Sige, tama siya, tama. Tama si Gabriel. Okay. Okay. So, teka. Sino pa yung aking... Teka, baba ko lang yung ating comment. Tama naman, no? Okay. Si... Ma okay na po yung aking, ma'am. Pwede na? O, oh, sige. Uh -oh. Bago ako lumampas sa ating listahan. Ikaw. Yung ilong na yan ay makisira. Ngat-ngatin mo ba naman ang ngat-ngatin? Kita na po ba? Nakaw ay hindi. Oh, hindi. Hindi pa rin? Hindi. Yan po. Wala pa rin. Anong gamit Para mo? Para pa na Anong gamit mo? Code black po. Code black. O sige, ganito. I-end mo yan. Tapos, um, i-output mo muna. Saka mo i-share.
Ano pa rin? Ano itong nandito? Meron ko nag-a-output dito sa ano, sa screen. Dito ka nag-a-output sa ano mo eh. Doon sa space mo, dapat dito eh. Paano kaya yan? Aha. Ito po. Sige, mag ano ka muna. I-out mo muna yan. Tapos ang gawin mo, okay, mag-out ka muna dyan. Okay, mag-unshare ka. Tapos, dun sa end mo, mag-output ka na dun sa code block. Saka ka mag-share. Saka mo i-share yung screen. Dito ka nagsishare sa ano eh. Yun sa baba. Dito sa screen na maliit. Ayan. Dito nag-output. <laughs> Ayan din namin mga ingit. Ayan. Naliit. Ma'am, lumalabas daw sa inyo eh. Bakit? Sa inyo ba nakikita nyo? Pag try nyo pong i-click yung pinag-reset ni Mark Joseph. Try nyo pong i-click. Ata? Ayun. Oh, bakit ganun? Ayan, yung output, nakita ko rin. Okay. okay na, okay na, Mark. Clinic ko siya eh. Ayun. Kita na po? Ayan, better. Kita na po siya. Ayan. Tapos, o oh, sige. Tapos yung output niya. Ayun. Yung ginawa mo lahat. O oh, sige, pati nga ulit ng code. So, hindi lang ano yung ginawa mo, pati yung ano, ibang operators. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sige okay, po, ma'am. Thank you po. Teka, titignan ko yung aking listahan. Kailangan ko yung ating listahan. Okay. 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 Ah... Uh, Sino nga yung hula? Si John Mark, tapos si Rances. Si Rances ba natawag ko na? Mark? Hindi pa po. Okay, Mark, next. Ayan. Okay, so ginawa mo rin lahat. Okay. Isa lang po ba dapat, ma? Hindi, okay lang. <laughs> Okay lang, okay lang. <laughs> Maganda yan. Nag-advance na kayo. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. Next. Si ano naman? Si uh, Daniel Molina. <coughs> Bakit yung iyong iniksyon ay meron pa rin dyan? Nandyan pa rin. Okay. Okay. Sige. Run mo siya. Aray ko. Nag-terminate siya. Medyo may problema yung iyong namumula. Tingnan nga natin. Okay. Bakit namumula yun? Okay. Pwedeng lakihan mo ng konti para mabasa natin. Okay, namumula siya, namumula. Okay, process terminated the status. Tingnan mo doon sa taas, yung namumula, anong problema? Ayan. Ano sa tingin mo ang problema niyan? Ah, ako, nakita ko na ako anong Mamay, problema. Mamay, ito po, i-invite ko po yung shares, yung tempest na ito po. Hindi po ito ma-present yung dialog box po nung run. Okay. Alam mo kung bakit? Tingnan mo pa lang yung pula. You give a space between. Kaya hindi siya nagra-run, no? 
Okay, you give a space between hindi <laughs> ko na tuloy makita. Sige pa, Mrs. Sir. Yung include at saka ano, 'di ba? Napansin niyo class, yung ano niya. Kaya namumula eh, ayan no. Walang space between include at saka yung STDI o. Oh. Okay, kaya namumula. Oh, tingnan mo, lagyan mo ng space. Mawawala yung pula niyan. Okay. And then tigiran mo siya. Oh, ayan. Diba? Yan lang ang problema mo. Oh. Nakita niya yun, diferensya nung ano. Nagdikit lang kasi, Hindi kaya nag-ano siya. Ayan. Okay, salamat, Daniel. Next, Melvin. Huwag kang makulit. Huwag kang makulit. Ito talaga. Makulit ka. Okay. Ayan. Si Melvin. Tingnan natin ang gawa ni Melvin. O, dali. Ikaw magiging programmer ka rin balang araw. Ano? ano? Kita po mo. O, oh, kita na. Sige. Ayan po. Lagyan mo po yung bali. Tingnan nga natin kung magawa niyo. Ari ko, ari ko, ari ko, ari ko. Oh, tiga, satu hal mana? Ah, inde, itu bim bolang di sini, para makita nanti ni kod mo. Inde nya. Ayah, okay. So, kini pleto mana sya? Pati yang nan operator. Okay. Okay. Tiga advance kau ah. Oh, sike, salamat. Okay, si John Mark naman. John Mark. Okay, okay. Okay. Kita po, ma'am. Ayan na. Lapit na. Okay, ayan na. Okay, so ikaw ay naka-code block. Okay. Okay, so lahat na rin. Tabi mo ng konti para makita natin yung code. So nilahat mo na rin. Okay. Sige. Okay, good. Thank you. Salamat. Well, Escultero, next. Ang mamamaya na lang po. Ah, mamamaya na lang. Okay, sige. Si John Mark, natawag ko na. Wait lang po, ma'am, may problem. Adeline, next. Adeline. Si Adeline. Adeline. Ma'am, kita na po. Yay! Okay, ano nga? Okay. True. Ah, true, true, true. Okay, salamat. Okay, oh. Nasaan din ito, ma'am? Salamat, salamat. Next, si Archer. Archer Shane. No name. No name. Ulit. Tingnan ko muna. Ang bilis eh. Nadali. Okay. I, ano mo nga? Pwede bang i-ano siya? I-flip dun sa kabila para makita. Ayan. Oh, para ka naman nga dun. Oh, ayan. Ayan. Nakita natin yung code niya. Oh. Okay. Doon sa dulo. Balik ka dun sa dulo. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Okay, very good. Very good, very good. Salamat, salamat. Okay, next. Next, si ano? Si Gabriel number two. Si Saklot. Okay. Sige, tabi mo ng konti. Ayan, para makita natin. Okay. Ayan. Uh, <laughs> Diyan ka. Okay, ayan. Alright. So, nilahat mo na rin. Okay. Ah, hindi. 
Ah, okay. Baba mo lang konti. Yung code. Ayan. Ah, so ikaw naman, ang ginawa mo, puro logical end lang talaga siya. Okay. okay. Pero namibas ka rin yung ano. Okay. So ano lang naman yan eh. Ah, uh, showing lang, no? Ah, kung baga print app, output lang siya. Okay, thank you. Paolo, Belen, next. Merong nagpopokpok din na Paolo, ah. Kita na po. Okay, malapit na. Ayan, dumitaw na. Sige nga, kaya ano natin, show natin. natin dito, eh, ano mo ng konti pag ganun atake mo dito pag ganun para makita natin yung code okay, o sige pwede na, ganyan tapos, dali lang ha overall work condition, tapos so, ang ginawa mo nag nag logical end ka tapos nag logical or at saka not yung net operator okay okay good thank you advance okay next si Yuri thank you okay thank you Yuri Noel mag ano ka magsabi ka ha para na dito na po oo ayan na okay dali lang ha iran mo nga Okay. So, i-ganun mo ng konti. Dito lang. Yan. Okay. So, dito sa yung huli, gumamit ka ng logical or at saka not. Nakita mo? Nakita mo yung logical or at saka not? Okay. So, sa statement mo. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay na Salamat. Okay, next. Si Da Jack. Si Da Jack. Da Jack, Da Jack. Nagsisera ka, ha? Nagsisera ka. Nakikiusi ka dito sa programming, ha? Nagiging programmer ka rin ba, ha? Tingnan mo yan, ha? Tingnan mo. Tingnan! Oh, oh. Ayan na, oh. Matapos na, kagating mo ko. Karay ko! Okay. Okay. Ayos ah. Daming statement ah. Okay. Tingnan nga natin kung nagbamatch dun sa sinasabi mo. Okay. Both conditions are true. Okay. Okay. Good. Tapos dun sa ano, isa. So, ginawa mo na rin yung or. Okay. Okay. Only. Okay. And then, yung isa, yung not. So, doon may nilagay sa ano yung not. Okay. So, i-reverse -re yung not din sa ano. Okay. Alright. Then, there's your not false. Okay. Thank you. Good job. Ibang format naman siya. Okay. Salamat. Dito ka kasi. Okay. So, si ano yun? Okay. Sundan mo. Edmilin. Ibanez. Ayun. Okay. Sige. Sarado mo nga yan. Tingnan natin yung code mo. Ayan. Okay. Baba mo ng konti. Ayan. Okay. Print F. Operator. Okay. 
Okay, so ginamit mo yung end. Okay, end. At saka yung nut. Okay. 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 Salamat, Edwili. Good job. Thank you, Pat. Okay. Si ano naman? Si Joanne Balakas? Mam sa phone ko. Oh, sige. Patingin. Sige po. Uusi ka, uusi. Uusi ka, uusi. Uusi siya. Ayan. Okay. Ang code siya. Balik mo dun sa code. Ayan. Maring ko. Maring ko. So, ginawa mo na rin yung ano, yung not operator at saka end operator. Okay. Tingin nga ulit yung output. Ayan. Okay. Salamat. Salamat, Joanne. O, Jolaine, ikaw naman. No, wait lang po. Nagka-problem po. Nagka-problem. O, balikan natin si Noel. Noel, ano? Kumusta? Pwede na? Hindi pa. Pasaglit na ako. Hindi pa rin. Okay. O, sige. So, mayroon tayong dalawang babalikan. Si Jolaine at saka si Noel, no? Okay. Si Aljon. Banderada. Okay. Okay, iuro mo ng kote dito. Para makita natin. Ayan. Ito dito. Ayan. O. Manipis lang naman yung ano. Anong nangyari? Ayan. Okay. So, through. And then, short. And then, angat. Angat po yung code yan. Okay. Ito po yung pa. Ayan. Okay. So, nag-ano ka na rin? Nag- uh, Nag-condition na rin. Okay. Okay. okay na po yun sa akin. Okay na? O, sige. O, sige, si Jalene. Salamat! Salamat, Aljon. Okay. Salamat po. Okay. O, Jalene, show. Ito po. O. Mag-comment na kayo, ha? Para malagay na kayo sa queue. Okay. Okay. Ito po. And then, i-run mo. Lagi mo dito. Okay. Okay. Ano na yan? Okay. Medyo madilim. Talaga, tinataas ko yung mata ko para para makita eh. Nilalapit ko na lang sa screen. Okay. Sige, baba mo ng konti yung code. Ayan. Okay, so gumawa ka na rin ng NAT operator. Okay. Yes. Okay, sige. Thank you. Thank you po. Okay. Next. Si uh, Jane. Sambrito. Hello. Oo. Uh -oh. Okay. Hello. Ayan na. Pwede. Baka sa baba. Ayan. Yung crew lang po, ma'am. I mean, yung an operator. Ah, okay. Walang problema. Kasi, yun din ang sabi ko kanina eh. Yung iba nag-advance na eh. Anyway. Kasi gusto ko sana isa-isa. But anyway, sige. Okay. Okay na po. Asan yung output? Ay, ikaw yung tinitingnan sa baba, ano? Tama ba? Yes. Okay, ayan. Ayan na siya sa baba. Ayan. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Nakita ko na. Kasi kailangan mo i-highlight dahil iba yung viewing nung ano mo, nung uh, sa'yo. Okay, next si Erica. Erica Nicole, Norte, in the South. <laughs> Sorry, ako oh, mainisin eh. Ah, mainis si Erica. Okay na po, ma'am. Madali lang, huwag ka muna magpunta sa South, sandali. 
Ayan, tingnan natin. Tapos, puro mo ng konti. Ayan. Okay. Okay. Tapos yung ano, run. Ah, okay. So, ginawa mo na rin yung ano, yung not operator. Okay. At saka yung, uh, or. Salamat. Okay. Followed by Gian, Ramon, Francisco. nasa na. Ayan. Okay. So, according to your code, gumawa ka na rin ng not at saka or. Okay. So, doon mo siya inilagay sa harapan. Okay. Salamat, Gian. Okay. Followed by Rose Ann. Hernan. <laughs> Sabi mo ng konti. Ayan. Para makita natin. Okay. And. Tapos or. Tapos not. Okay. <coughs> Ayan. So, kinompleto mo na. Okay. Sige. Salamat. Alright. Next. Si Rochelle. Polycarpio. May nakita ako doon, ha? <laughs> nakita niyo kung saan ko inuha yun, ha? <laughs> nag, nag transfer ka ng ano, ha? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm hoping na pinag-isipan mo yan, ha? Sige, iran mo nga. Tingnan natin. Okay. So, nag not operator ka. Okay. Meron ka na rin or... Okay, salamat. Salamat, Rochelle. JB, next. Wait lang po, ma'am. Tanong ko lang, class, dahil marami na nagpa-participate, ibig sabihin ba ay naiintindihan nyo na yung logical operator? kahit medyo nakakalito siya. Or, isa pa. Isa pang ano. Isa pang output tayo. Ah, sa tingin nyo? Ah, may na po. May na po. Oo. Dali lang ah. Dali lang. Tinitingnan ko yung code mo habang ako may tinatanong sa class. So, kinumpleto mo na rin, no? Apo. Okay. Sige, okay na. O, ano? Dahil marami nang nagpa-participate, ibig sabihin, totoo na to. Or, kailangan pa natin ng isa. Kailangan pa natin na isa. Isa pang sample. No? Ano? Para practice. Practice Apo. makes it perfect. Ayan. Okay. So, thank you, JB. Okay, followed by Mariton. Mariton de Paz. Ah, okay. Nandiyan pala yung output sa baba. No. Ayan. Sige. Aha. Uh -huh. Ayan. Okay, mas maganda yan kasi hindi mo na kailangang ilipat-lipat. Tingnan natin yung code mo. Pwede mo bang lakihan yung ano? Malalakihan mo ba yung ano? Okay. Okay. Sige. 
Ah, ano to? Visual Studio. Try mo nga dun sa view. Click mo yung view. Tapos, palakihin. May ano dyan eh. Uh, sa view. Sa option. Mali. Sa option mo pala tingnan. Okay. Tapos, sorry. Ah, yun, Preferences. Ayan. Tingnan mo doon sa Preferences. Ayan. Settings. Ayan. Okay, wala. Teka nga. Buksan ko nga yung aking ano, Visual Studio dito. <laughs> na, ano na ako eh. Ano sa yung Visual Code ko dito. Ah, Visual Studio. Ayan, ayan pala, nakita mo na. O, sige, gawin mong 15. Ayan. Okay, tingnan natin. I-save mo yan, tapos i-close mo. Tapos tingnan mo kung ano yung output pagka nag-start ka ulit. Actually, pwede ko rin gamitin ito eh. Loading. Okay. Ayan ko nga. Ma'am, okay na po. Okay na po. Nabago po yung phone. Sige, ayan. Ayan, mas malaki. Thank you. Ayan. Okay, main and end. Print F. So, ginawa mo na yung end operator. Pati yung ating or. Okay. And then, the not operator. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Mariton. Actually, pwede ko rin dito gawin eh. Tingnan ko nga. Okay, ano ko nga yung code dito. Tapos, control, control A, and then, control B, and then, ha, ha, Build. Okay, build errors. Ayaw niya. Masyado siyang nabibigatan. Okay, fine. Ayaw niya. Ayaw niya. Oh, ayaw. Ayaw niya, ayaw niya, ayaw niya. Okay, fine. I-close mo to. Okay. Alright, next, si Kyla. Kyla Rayola. Okay. Kyla. Okay. Okay. Dito sa kabila mo, i-ano. Ayan. Okay. Ano kita natin yung code na dito? Okay. Okay. Operator. And doon mo nilagay. Tapos. Okay. And then mag not operator ka. Okay. Thank you, Kyla. Okay. And then. Si uh, Wilmer. Concept shot. Okay. All right. Okay. Mali lang ah. End, 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 end. Okay. So, ito sumunod. Ayan. Okay. Thank you, Wilmer. Salamat. Okay. Next, si Alsea. Yodi. Alsea. Kita na po. Kita na po. Yup. Sige, ibaba mo lang ng konti dito para makita na. Ay, okay na pala. Getch na yung dulo, yun o. Ayan. Oo. Okay. 
Okay, sandali lang. Pinabasa ko lang. Operator. So, meron ka ng not operator. At saka meron kang uh, and at saka operator. Alright. Okay. Thank you. Thank you Isaiah. Po. Next. Followed by Diane. Diane Levi. <coughs> Okay. Tapos rin mo nga. Okay. Sige, baba mo yan. Baba mo yung output. Ayan. Ayan. Sakto. O, yun. Nasaan na? Nangyari. Ayan. Okay. Ha? Baka. Tinit nga lang natin. So, you have here the end operator. Okay, nag-output ka dito ng true, tapos ito or, nagawa ka na rin ng or, tapos nag-output dito ng true. Okay. Okay, and that operator. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Diane. Followed by po. Melody. Melody Tapay. kita ni Miss Spain. Ayan. Okay. So, yun. Naglawa ka na rin ng or. Not. Okay. Nag-get ka dyan. Sige nga. I-run mo. Okay. Good. Okay. Salamat. Salamat. Thank you, Tom. Okay. Next, si Gerald Palileo. Mamang camera lang po yung gamit. Okay lang po. Okay lang. Sige. Itingnan natin kung paano ko makikita yan. <laughs> Sige. Alam ko na gagawin ko. Teka ha. Iaano ko yung ating screen. Ano ba gagawin yan? Teka. Uh, change layout. Para malaki yung ano. Uh, hmm. Siguro spotlight. Ah. Uh, Tama, spotlight. Ayan, o, ba Pag spotlight, kita ko. Pwede mong nga nugahin, ganunin. <laughs> kasi naka, naka, ayan, ayan. O. Kita ko na kasi, gin, nililagyan ko na, ano, ginawa kong maliit yung, ano. Ayan, o, ba Ginawa kong spotlight yung ating layout. Okay. Tapos, um, i-ano mo nga, so, pinakita mo yung code, I-ano mo naman siya, i-pakita uh, mo yung output. Asa na yun? Sino kayong tinawag ko? Sino tinawag ko? Si, po. si Gerald? Ayan. Yan yung output. Okay, tapos sarado mo siya yung ano, yung code. Sarado mo yan, tapos, ayan na pala yung code. Ayan, okay. O, ba nakikita ko na ng malino. Ayan, nakita ko yung paano gagawin pagka ganito, no? Okay, salamat, Gerald. Okay, tiled. Balik tayo sa tiled. Ah, galing. Okay, salamat. Next, si Estepan. Alorine. Ma'am, pwede po sa phone din po? Okay, walang problema. Ililipat ko ulit, ha? Sandali, ha? Lilipat ko yung ating... Ilipat ko yung ating option para makita ko yung ano nyo. Change layout tayo. Spotlight. Ayan. O, ba Kita ko na. Sige, layo mo ng konti para makapag-focus. Hindi makapokus yung iyong ano. Lobat. Ito, lobat. Ayan. So, yan yung code mo. Okay. So, gumawa ka na ng ah uh, Kinumpleto mo na, no? Ayan. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ayan, balik ko ulit sa tiled. Oh, ba? 
Pag there's a will, there's a way. O, teka, balikan natin si Noel. Ano na nangyari, Noel? Okay na po. Okay na, o, ikaw naman. Sa talig ko. Okay. Wait lang. Sige. Okay. Yan mo nga, iran mo dito. Yan. Okay. So, yung ating uh, alright. Nag-nut ka na. Nag-or ka. Okay. So, yan yung output natin. Okay. Salamat! Natapos mo rin. <laughs> Noel. Okay, next. Si Jaren. Jaren, gati ka. Bang camera phone lang din po. Okay. Pabagal nila. Okay. Sige, walang problema. Teka lang ha, lilipat ko lang yung ating uh, layout. Sige, spotlight para ikaw lang. Ayan. Sige, pakita mo. Hindi pala ito nababatak. Close mo nga. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. So, nagawa ka na rin ng logical or at saka yung nut na operator. Okay. Sige nga, ita eh, ah, ayan na yung output. Ah, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, salamat. O, sige, lilipat ko lang yung ating layout. Child, para makita ko kayo. Ayan, close. Okay, next. Followed by Christina Velasco. Christina Velasco, are you there? Okay. Tain lang natin. Okay. Ah, saan si Christina? Nakikita niyo ba si Christina dito sa ating ano? Parang wala. Hmm, hindi ko nakikita. Ano siya nag-out? Wala. Wala siya sa grupo. Diba? Mga baka po, nawawala na po namin. Nagsabi rin po ako sa akin. Nangyari yun sa inyo? Okay. So, kung hindi pwede si Christina, uh, paalala niyo sa akin para matawag ko siya. Kasi hindi ko nakikita yung pangalan niya. Dito sa inyong, ano, dito sa tiles. Okay. Si Christina Manuson. Okay, parang hindi ko rin nakikita itong isang Christina. Yung dalawang Christina nawawala. Ah, ito pala. Ang laking letter C. <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> Sorry naman. Okay. Okay. Sige. I ano mo nga? I, uh, I run mo. <clears throat> okay. Ano nangyari? Nagsarado. Wala ka. Okay. Ulit. Ayun. Ah, okay. So, ganun yung nangyayari. Kailangan ni ano mo. Okay. Saka yun ipapakita. Okay. Nakita ko na siya dun sa una. Salamat, Christina. Thank you po. Ano, bumalik na ba yung isang Christina? Wala pa rin. Hindi ko nakikita yung pangalan niya. Okay. Next. Si Sha Shai Shaina. Janeya po. Ano? Janeya po. Ah, Janeya. Yung S. H. Nagiging Janeya. De La Merced. Tama ba? Okay. Sige, ikaw. Uh -huh. Janeya. Ayos ha. Unique yung pangalan. Ay ka lang ha. Huwag mo munang iran. Tinitingnan ko lang. Okay. So, gumawa ka na rin ng operator or. Logical operator or. At saka yung not. Okay. Sige nga. Run mo nga. Run mo te. Nasaan na yung ano? 
pa. Nangyari. Nagrara na ba siya? Hindi pa. Mom, nagrara na po sa akin. Hi. Okay. I-close mo to. Tapos, tinan natin kung lilitaw. Ah, hindi. Ayan. Tapos, ang gawin mo, um, i-ano mo siya, i- uh, I-run mo siya, tapos tingnan natin kung yun ang lilitaw. Tapos i-share mo. May ganang sitwasyon tong ano eh. Itong ating... Ayan. Tama. Ganun nga yung nangyari. Ayan. Yan yung nakapresent ngayon. Yung yung ano, nakashare. So yung kanina na nag-ano ka, nagpa-prump. Ito yung lumilitaw sa kabilang screen. Ayan. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Ah, uh, si Melvin. Ay, hindi. Natawag ko na itong mga to, no? Natawag ko na si Diana at si Melvin. Tama ba? Parang naalala ko na. Natawag ko na itong mga to, eh. Okay. Si Samuel Ayara. Hindi pa to. Sigurado ako. Angat-ngatin ang sapatos ko. Masisira yan. Masisira yan. Ako talaga. Ayan. Okay. Okay, ang liit. Pwede mo bang lakihan? Ah. Sige, yamo na. Nadudoling na rin naman ako. Iduling na ako. <laughs> okay lang. Ang lapit ko na sa screen. O, oh, sige. Okay, thank you. Sige. Ayan. Si Sophia Kubin. Bumalik na ba yung isang Christina? Belas ko and bumalik ka na ba? No, 38 pa rin tayo, kulang pa rin tayo. Walang sigurong internet kay Christina. Okay. Sophia, Marie, Kubin. Okay. Okay. Ano nangyari? Ang tagal. Nangyari. Nangyari, ate. Naghang. Nagahang. Okay. O, ganito gawin mo. Anong gamit mo, Sophia? Turbo C? Anong gamit niya? Code black. O. O, huwag mo munang irarun, ha? I-ano mo lang, i-show mo lang muna yung code. Tapos, close ka uli. Tapos, share ka uli. Pag-share pag mo, kailangan nakalabas na yung, ano, yung run. No? Okay. So, ulit. Yun muna ang, ano, Code mo muna. Sige. Share mo. Huwag mo munang irarun, ha? Okay. Sige, share mo muna. Ayan. See? Told you. Ganyan yung code block, eh. Sige. Na, nakikita natin yung mga mga ano ng uh, programming tool, ano? Ayan. Okay. So, ang gagawin mo ngayon, okay, tingnan mo nga kung pag-run, kung lilitaw. Sige nga. Okay. Ano, nag-run na sa'yo? Okay. Kung nag-run na sa'yo, sige, close mo to. Close mo yan. Unshare ka. Tapos, i-ano mo siya, i-run uh, mo siya ngayon, no? Buksan mo yung code, tapos i-run mo siya. Tapos, saka mo share. Ayan, tiyo mo, diba? Ayan, nakita na natin. Ayan. Okay. Salamat, Sophia. Ayan mga ano ng code. Ay, nako. Okay, 38 pa rin. Wala pa rin yung isang Christina. May nangyari doon. Nako. Okay. So, sino yung uh, hindi pa natin nakita yung gawa sa inyo? Sino, sino yung kailangan natin balikan? Nabalikan na natin si Noel. Sino yung ano? Wala na, no? Okay, wala na. Okay. So, nakita nyo na naman yung ginawa ko kanina. Okay, alos pare-pareho lang tayo. Anyway, pakita ko na rin. Ayan. Entire screen. Okay. Alright. So, dito tayo kay Debsy. Ayan. So, ito yung uh, code. No? So, pareho rin tayo ng ginawa. No? Nakanat operator. Okay. And then, 
Okay, i-close ko to. Ah, tingnan ko lang. Nakikita niyo ba to? Nakita niyo yung output? Plus. Ayun. Wala pa lang problema. Wala pa lang problema yung Debsicon. Diyan yung output. Ayan. Okay. So, isa pa. Isa pa tayo. Gawa pa tayo ng isa. Okay. Sample lang natin yung ano sa aking ano. Okay. Operators. Operators. Okay. Try naman natin tong logical and at saka or. Okay. Ayan. Okay. Siyempre, mag stop sharing ako para eto, isang ano? Isang ah uh ang pasada. Kokopyahin ko lang yung ano. Teka, ba't ka nang ganyan? Hoy! Huwag mo! Okay. Ah, ah. Pang kulit mo talaga! Diyan ka! Sa! Kulit talaga nitong mabait na to. Okay. Pwede ko ba tong Ayun. Okay. Teka lang ha. Ya ano ko lang i-ready ko lang yung ating ano, print screen. Ah, wala ka na namang magawa ha. Wala ka na namang magawa. Ha? Sandali lang po. Sandali lang po. Meron lang pong nakumulit. Oh, diyan ka. Diyan ka. Ayun. Ayun. Yad! Okay. So, kanina, nag-ano tayo, nag, uh, uh, mm, 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 ko! Talaga naman! Nag-ano tayo, nag, uh, ang pangalan nito? nag uh, logical end ito na mga gagawin natin ngayon ay logical or ayan dali lang i-move ko lang ito ayan okay print screen hindi ako naka-share ano <laughs> para hindi na nakikita yung output ko <laughs> okay madali lang na ano eh. okay okay ayan tingo <laughs> talaga <laughs> Sampapang ka talaga ng kulit. Ha? Wala na akong matapos sa'yo. Wala na akong matapos sa'yo. Ay, nako. Talaga naman. Sige. Okay. Dali lang. Ayan na. Malapit na matapos kayo. Sandali na lang. <laughs> Sandali na lang. Okay. Magkaroon ba naman kasi ako ng hayop na sobrang kulit? Ayop talaga eh, no? <laughs> Ayop ang tawag eh. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Nandiyan ka na sa laptop. Oh! Hmm, sige, dyan ka. Doon, doon ka. Oh, matapos sa ginagawa ko. Oh, sige, yan naman ang kagatin mo. Talaga naman. Uubusin mo na yan. <laughs> Ay, nako. Ang kulit. Ang kulit-kulit. Okay. Yan na. Okay. Okay. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Okay. Okay. Ito. Ayan. Pwede ko na ipakita. Okay. Bili natin. Bili natin para ma-move ko yung output. <laughs> okay. Ayan. Yung output. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Delete. And delete. Ayan. 
Okay, so ang gagawin natin ay mag-show-show tayo ng uh, ando mo nga ng ating um Ito yung ating values. So, meron tayong integer na A. Ayan. Okay. Bahala na kayong maglagay. Basta yung ating output. Ang gagamitin natin ay logical and. Okay. Ayan. So, may sample na ako dyan ng ating variable. Okay. Again, ang gagawin po natin ay end. End lang to ha. Logical end. Ah, sorry. Logical or na operator. Sige, ingat-ngatin mo. Mauubos mo na yan. Oh, ubos mo na. Okay, isi-share ko na. Okay, try natin tong gawin. Okay, isi-save ko para malaki. Ayan. Okay. Tinimulan ko na. Tapos, isi-share ko. Ayan. Yung aking window. Ayan. Okay. Nakikita niya na, class? <coughs> Kinuha ko yan dun sa ating aking uh, installation ng ano, sa Android. Ayan. Okay. So, eto po, logical or po tayo. Ayan, yun ang ating gagamitin. No? Ayan. Yun po yung output sa baba. Nakita nyo? Kita nyo ba yung aking sinishare? Fast? Yes po. Okay, Ito gawa. Po. Sige, gawa na po. Gawa po tayo. Oh, logical or. Kulit mo. Ah, kulit, kulit mo. Okay. Okay. Ah, kulit mo. Oras na. Alas 5 na. Okay, alas 5 na. Sige. Kawa kayo dyan. Okay. Teka lang ha. Gagawin lang ako sa taas, babalik ako sa Manila. Sige, gawin nyo muna yan.
Ganun na po. Ma'am, dan na rin po ako. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Okay. Stop sharing ako. Okay, patingin. Sino yung, uh, sino yung nag nag-react? Doon sa dalawa. Ako po yung unang nag-chat. Oh, okay. Sige. Adeline. Banat. Aha. Kita na po. Oo. Oh, oh. Okay. Tinan nga natin yung output mo. <coughs> okay. 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 Ika lang ah. Lalabas ko lang yung aking aking gawa. Ayan. Tapos. Okay. Less than, greater, less than, greater. Zero, zero, one. Tignan natin yung kay Adeline na nakashare. Okay. That's done. Okay. Zero, zero, one. Okay. Galing ah. Tapos agad ah. Salamat. Salamat, Adeline. Sino yung uh, kasunod ni Adeline? Ako po. Yuri? Yes po. Okay. Yuri. Followed by Yuri. Ayan. Kita na po, ma'am. Ah, okay, kita na. Yan po. Yan po yung code, ma'am. Okay. Tingnan natin. Ano pag niran mo? Ayan. Yes, done. Okay. Yes, and later. Okay. Sige. Close mo nga. Okay. Ayan. Okay. Salamat. Thank you po. Okay. Nasaan na si Christina? Andiyan na ba si Christina? Nakabalik na. Ay, ayan na ka. Ayan ka na. Naku, buti naman. Nakabalik ka na. O, sige. Tingnan ko nga yung gawa mo kanina. O, sige. Pumawit po. O, yung kanina. Nakagawa ka ba nung kanina? Buti naman at nakabalik ka. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. So, naggawa ka na rin ang not operator. Bigla mo sinara. Sandali lang. <laughs> Ayan. Dali. Okay. And then, not operator. At saka, or operator. Okay. Okay. Salamat. Ayan, nagawa na niya. Thank you po, ma'am. Okay. So, eto dun sa bago, Noel. Okay na? Okay na po. Oh, sige, patingin. Okay. Tapos, Output na yan. Ito yung madaling ma-check eh. Okay. O, oh, 3. And then, negative 1. Okay. Simple lang, diba? Yung OR. Napakadaling yung program ng OR. Okay. Thank you. Next. Si Jaren. Ma'am, same lang po pa nung kanina. Sa nakakamera po. O, oh, sige. Teka. Lilipat ko yung ating uh, viewing. Dali lang ah. I-change ko yung layout. Tapos spotlight. Okay. Sige Noel, alis ka muna dyan. Okay. Anong nangyari? Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Okay.
Okay. Tapos yung output sa baba. Sige, focus mo dun sa baba. Ayan. Okay, two. Two, three, two. Okay. Salamat, Jaren. Okay, okay next. Si Mark Rances. Okay. Ayan. May lang. And may tapos. Gets. Ito yung output. Zero, one. Okay. And zero, and zero, and zero, and zero. Okay, thank you. Next, si The Jack. Perfect na natin. Mabilisan na to. <coughs> okay. Pwede na tayong lumipat sa susunod. Okay. Dito mo yan, no? Dito, dito. Yan. Okay. The jack. Okay. This, this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, John Victor. Next, si Sophia Marie Kubin. Hi. Dali. Siyempre, dapat babaguhin ko pala yung ano, layout natin. Balik natin sa tiled. Okay. Sophia Marie, pwede na. Ano nga ba yung nangyayari sa'yo? Ayan, yung code. Tapos, try mo nga kung pwedeng mag-run. Nangyayari. nag na sa kabila. Ah, okay. Kung nag-run ah, nag sa kabila yan, sige, close mo lang. Tapos, i-run mo ulit. Tapos, yun ang i-share mo. Ayun. Okay. Yan yung may issue dun sa ano eh. Code blocks. Okay, salamat. Next. Si ano? Paolo. Paolo Belen. Tapos, ayan. Nagra-run siya. And then, teka lang ha. Itingnan ko yung code. So, yun yung ginawa na. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Paolo. O, Christina Manuson. Next. Okay. Okay. Run mga. Ooh. Ah, code blocks ka rin. Sige. Yung output. Isa pa. Ayan. Itong code blocks may toyo eh, no? Ayaw niyang ano, gusto niya one at a time ang showing. Sige. Thank you! Followed by... Thank you. So, ayos na si Christina. Followed by John Mark Mabandos. gamit mo dyan, Mark? Ano to? Debsy? Debsy ba yan? Code yeah, block. Code block po, ma'am. Code block. Pero ito sa'yo, hindi nagre-react ng gano'n, ano? Okay. Sige, pa e eh, ano ulit. Ayan. May kanya-kanyang ano yung ano, no? Sopre natin. May kanya-kanyang toyo. 
Okay. Salamat. Salamat, Marjan Mark. Okay, next. Si James. Or Kales. James. Wala pa. Okay. Sige. Simple lang nung code na. Okay. Run mo nga. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, James. Si ano naman? Gabriel Tumambing. Ano oras pa tayo? Tayo ay hanggang 6. 6 tayo. Mahaba-haba pala yung oras natin pag ano, paka Wednesday. 5.30 Ay lang ah. Okay, hindi ko nakikita eh. May ibang tinitingnan kong screen. Ayan, okay. Ah, uh, yung output. Ah, dito. Ganun no. Ayan. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriel. Oh, Dayan. Dayan. Titingnan ko yung mga pangalan na hindi ko pa natawag eh. O parang may nata natawag ko na to lahat eh. Okay. Ilan mo nga? Ayan natin. Ito. Ganun mo. Ito lang sa tabi. Ayan. Okay. Yes. Okay. Iba yung ano niya. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. Next, JB. Wait lang po. Sige, JB. At ako ay titingnan ko yung ating next inline na gagawin. Yan sa ating operators. So, uh, tapos na natin si relational, si arithmetic, si logical, bitwise. Okay. So, magmove on na tayo sa bitwise. Yan yung next natin. Okay. So, tingnan natin yung gawa ni ulit. JB, patingin nga ulit. Sorry. Meron lang akong tining ng picture. Okay, JB. Ayan. Okay. Sandali lang ah. Ayan, meron ka ng code dyan. Tapos, na-compare ko lang. Okay. Okay. Thank you, JB. Okay, next. Si uh, uh, Gabriel Saklot. Ito, sigiran mo. Ayan, dito, ay ganun mo. Ayan, ano lang yan, manipis lang yan. Ayan, okay. Okay. So, nagano ka ng values na A. Tsaka 2, C, 3, D. C, 3, D. B, A, C. Hmm, okay. Okay, so marami siyang kinol na ano, na variable. Okay, thank you. Next, si Mark Joseph. Mark Joseph. Teka, ano niyo ba si Mark Joseph? Parang... Nandiyan ka ba, Mark Joseph? Ah, yung pala, nandiyan ka. Sige.
Paano nga yung sitwasyon mo? Hello, hello, hello. 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 Ano nga yung gamit mo? Code block po. Ah, oh, okay. So, una mo na, ipakita mo lang yung code, tapos, mag-unshare ka, tapos, i, ano, katulad ginawa natin kanina. So, may issue yung code block mo. Okay na po? Okay. Ayan. Okay. Ito po yung code nyo. Oh, ayan yung code. Ayan. Ayos mo naman pala. Okay. Salamat. Okay, next. Si ano? <coughs> Mariton. Mariton de Paz. Okay, mag-move on na tayo. Last na si Mariton. <coughs> Mag-move na tayo kay Bitwise Operator. Okay, para makarami tayo. Ayan. Okay, so nando na sa baba yung code mo. Okay. Ay, sa so yung output mo. Okay. Okay. Ayos. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mariton. Ayan, mag-ending na tayo doon. Ano? Ayan. So, moving on na tayo sa Bitwise Operator. Ayan, yun yung next natin, no? Okay, kuha lang tayo ng ating Bitwise. Para okay, Bitwise. Ayan. Bitwise. Okay. Pakinggan natin yung ating Bitwise Operator. No? Si si Kuya. Ayan. Si Kuya Chris. Ah, hindi. Huwag na yan. Baka masyadong ano yung ano niya. Eto. Gusto ko yung pag-i-explain nito. Ano. Sige. Eto na nga lang si Chris Jordan. Sige. It's not uncommon. Okay, Bitwise Operator. Okay, si-share ko lang <coughs> yung ating screen. Nasaan na yung ating ano? Okay. Window. Bitwise. Share. Nakikita nyo na ba yung screen natin? Nakikita nyo si Kuya. Si Kuya. Si Kuya nakalagay Bitwise. Class, kita? <coughs> kita po? Yes po. Okay. So, pakinggan natin si Kuya para doon sa ating Bitwise operator. Comment for systems programmers to need access to their data at the bit level. It's not uncommon for systems programmers to need access to their data at the bit level. And Bitwise operators give you the ability to do that. Bitwise operators are common to not only the C programming language, but to many other languages as well. And you might be thinking, well, Java is not necessarily a systems language, or Python is not. Why would these languages need bitwise operators? Well, when you're working with data formats that are commonly used on the internet, or that you're commonly used in programs, uh, saved by programs, these formats are often encoded in various ways that make use of bits and try and get maximal use out of every bit in their uh, file encoding. And so they do very clever things to pack a lot of information, like sometimes when you have a lot of settings that are either true or false, you can pack into a single byte eight different true-false settings uh, in a way that if you treated them as eight different values might take up much more space. Right? And so people have gone to great lengths to form uh, file format encodings that are very uh, tidy. And in order to unpack those encodings, the people who write the libraries to process those files need access to bits directly. And in systems programs, there are often times when you're working with things at the operating system level where you need to be uh, concerned with bit level operations too. There are three classes of bitwise operators we're gonna look at. So the first 
And the easiest is the unary complement operator that is effectively going to flip every bit in its own bit field, and that's all it does. It's, you can think of it as a, a, as a complement to the not operator in logical, in Boolean logical algebra, right? Where, uh, same idea, but this is going to work bit by bit. And, and at each bit in your field, it will be flipped after using it. The next are binary operators. And by binary, we're not talking about binary data, we're talking about binary expressions, meaning we've got two um, uh, sides to the expression, a right-hand side and the left-hand side, and then the operator goes between them because we're using infix operators. And these binary operators are just like their logical counterparts, but again, they're working individually through each bit, hence the name bitwise. We're, we're working bitwise through all of the data in some field and we'll apply very similar uh, heuristics for and and or, and then exclusive or we'll see uh, it adds a little bit more nuance to the idea of oring, but it's commonly useful in um, things like encoding, encrypting, uh, and parity checking, and some other uh, common systems concerns. The last two are shift operators that allow you to shift all of your bits in one direction or the other, and we'll see ways that we can do that using the shift left and shift right operators. They're different from the um, previous set, because uh, they're taking the bit field they're working on and then the number of uh, places that, want, that you want to shift in one direction to the other as the second operand. Uh, we'll look at that detail as we get into it. So the bitwise complement operator is very straightforward. It's just flip every bit. Where there's a zero in your input bit, make it a one. Where there's a one, make it a zero. And this is the tilde operator. Okay. So uh, here we have tilde zero, one, zero, one. We're going to get one, zero, one, zero. So if we had a character in our C program, like A, and we assigned it something like um, the bit pattern 1100, zero, zero, uh, and notice that's only a nibble, so uh, there are four bits that we're not specifying here. And we uh, said character B is the complement of A, so tilde A, let me make that tilde a little bit less squiggly, uh, all right? Uh, then after this operation completes, if we were to look at the bit field for B and focus on its low order bits, we would see that it's 0, 0, 1, 1, right? Because we flipped all those bits and that's what the uh, bitwise complement operator is. Notice that you're putting this operator just before the value that you are using it on. So this is very much like negative, the negative operator with a number, like negative one, or the not operator with some, you know, uh, true or false value, right? Great. So that's the unary operator. And then let's take a look at our binary operator. So the bitwise and is a binary operator that takes two bit fields, right? So two bit vectors, A and B, and it's going to result in a third bit vector. We're not changing anything about our input bit vectors. And what we're doing is we're going to go through bit by bit, bitwise, and compare each bit at the same place in these fields. And if both bits are one, the resulting bit will have a one in that same place. Uh, if either or are zero, or both are zero, then it will be zero. And so hopefully you can translate what you know about the AND logical operator with true false Boolean values uh, to the bitwise AND. But notice that this is going to take place uh, if we had a byte's worth of, of bits. There would be eight different comparisons that wind up going into producing the uh, the resulting uh, uh, bit field, right? So what you're going to see in these tables is we take these uh, bit vectors, right? So 1100 zero, zero for A, and we're representing them down this table, right? And 1010 zero, zero for B, we're representing that down the table. So we're keeping track of this is our high order bit, this is our low order bit, and so what bitwise and is doing is it's going and it's saying, okay, are both of these one? Yep, then A and B is going to be one. Are both of these one? Nope. Then A and B is going to be zero. We're doing this for every bit in our field. So if you had a 64-bit integer and two 64-bit integer um, variables, you could and them, and there would be 64 different bits that come out of it with this logic applied to it, right, in the same order. The OR operator is going to feel familiar as well. It's the same idea where at least one of the two bits in the same place when we compare two vectors as we move through each of the bits in the field, uh, is if, it's, if either bit is one, then the resulting bit will be one. Uh, and if both bits are one, that's totally fine too, right? So when the high order bit are both ones, right, these two bits in A and B, then the resulting A uh, bitwise or B will be one. 
similarly with only one side or the other. And so the only way that you get a zero value on the result of a bitwise or is if both of your input bit fields had a zero at the same place. Okay. And so ultimately, uh, we are producing this third uh, bit field here. And so we could store that result in a new variable uh, and, and do other computations or bitwise operations with it. The exclusive OR is really interesting and it has some fascinating, surprising uses in systems programming. Uh, and it gets, comes up quite a lot in encryption techniques as well. The idea is, unlike OR, where if you have two true values or two ones in the same bit position, then uh, exclusive OR, that's gonna be zero, right? Exclusive OR says only one of the two has a value of one at this position in the bit field. Right? So only one or the other. It's a truly exclusive or. And you could, if you wanted to do this in a logical, with your logical operators, you could form a more complex Boolean expression with uh, and and or to get the same benefit. But with bitwise operations, it's built into most languages uh, and available to you. Uh, and so you can see this example here. So right, one exclusive or one is zero. One exclusive or zero is one. Zero exclusive or one is one, and zero exclusive or zero is zero. All right. Hopefully that lines up, and I think playing around with these can help in, in getting some practice with these will help you uh, uh, drive the idea home. So the shift left operation is an interesting one, and what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our bits and move them to the left. All right. And so what we can do is with this operator, is we specify our bit pattern that's going to be shifted as well as how many places we want it to be shifted by to the left, right? And that's going to be a magnitude M. So um, if we wanted to be formal about this, uh, we could specify it using some of our vector notation. Uh, and notice that some bits are going to get truncated, right? When we uh, shift too far off to the left, and we can actually take a look at this here. So if we had a bit field like character A, and it stored uh, the binary pattern OB0101, right? Let me, let me try rewriting that. 0B0101, right? And we had a character C, or a character B, that is assigned the result of A shifted left by one position. Then what happens is we take each of these characters and we move them, or each of these bits, we move them one over, right? And so ultimately, uh, if we're thinking about only a nibble here, and we're going to ignore the fact that a character for now has four more uh, bits in it, so we wouldn't necessarily truncate if we were thinking about a character with only four bits. Um, but let's imagine that we're working only with the nibbles shown in uh, the data table below. What's going to happen is. Uh, that zero gets truncated if we move things to the left, right? So now the high order bit is one, and then zero, one, and then whatever, um, if, if however many places we shifted uh, to the left, we're gonna backfill zeros at those low order bits uh, in the pattern, right? So there's gonna be a zero there. But notice if we shift left two with that same input pattern, then notice there's two zeros here, and we've truncated this one, right? This, this leading one here, move forward one, two spaces, and now it's out of our, uh, of our nibble. Now again, if we were working with a byte, it would still be there until we shifted it all the way off the end of a byte. Uh, but if we're thinking just in terms of four bits here, which I think is easier to ex uh, illustrate, um, you get the point where we're shifting off one end. Similarly, with if we shift left by three, notice there's three leading zeros, and then this one that was previously in the low order bit is now all the way up in the high order bit because we shifted it one, two, three. And lastly, if we shifted four, we only had a nibble, we would have lost all of the data, we would have had only zeros here, all right? So we can shift to the left, and the key thing to remember is when you're back filling places, you're filling in zeros, right? You're zero filling any of the uh, new positions that opened up after you shifted. And you can shift off the end of our, uh, of our fields. And typically in, in C, you're never gonna be working with a nibble only, right? Byte is gonna be the smallest data type you can work with. Uh, so it would take shifting off of the, uh, the, the eighth bit or the high order bit of a byte to see the same phenomenon at play uh, in a C character data, right? 
So the bitwise right shift is interesting, all right? Let me just uh, fill in this table and then we'll explain what's going on. So when we're shifting from the right, we've got this interesting challenge. Well, we could just zero fill the new positions that open up on the left-hand side or in our high order bits, right? And that's what's happening here. Notice if our pattern is zero, one, zero, one, we shift right by one and we move uh, this one gets truncated, right? This one goes to the second position and winds up here and then we're zero filling, right? So this is what happens when our highest order bit in whatever bit field we're working with is a zero, right? There's a slightly different thing that happens called uh, one extension or sign extension uh, that is going to happen when we have a one in our high order bit. And it has to do with the implications of, of using two's complement and having negative numbers, right? And it also has to do with some really clever tricks that relate to what we're doing in terms of shifting and what this would mean if we were trying to multiply and divide uh, uh, values, but I'll come back to that, right? But if you want to sort of uh, try and reason through some what would be interesting, what are we actually doing? If we're shifting um, right by one, what is that operation if you were thinking of it in terms of multiply and divide? If we shifted left by one, what was that operation in terms of multiply and divide? If you want to pause this here for a minute to try and reason through that on your own, uh, I think it's an interesting little challenge. But let's look through what would happen if we were sign extending. And I want to again repeat that uh, in C, the smallest object we can work with is a byte. So uh, we would need the high order bit to be the, uh, the, the highest order eighth bit in a full bytes worth of bits in order to see this one extension uh, come into play. Um, but let's imagine that we are working with only a nibble and we care, we're calling this the highest order bit. Because the same idea will apply if we had two bytes, it would only apply to the highest order bit of the second byte, right, of the high order byte. And so if there's a one in the high order position and we shift uh, to the right, what's gonna happen is we're gonna backfill ones instead. Right? And this is gonna be called, this is what we call sign extension, All right? So why are we doing this? Well, remember, this one has a special meaning in two's complement, which tends to be how we represent all of our signed integer data in a systems language, in most languages. And so the idea is we want to preserve that sign uh, because we might actually be operating in a really interesting way on signed data. So what is the multiplication or division that's happening here? Well, when we're thinking about right shifting, uh, we're thinking of that uh, right shift by one position is the exact same as integer division by two, right? And if, if you stop and think about that for a minute and what the implications of our placeholders are in two, their powers of two, well, if we shift right, everything right by uh, one position, it's the same as dividing by two, right? So let's imagine um, we've got uh, the signed integer um, negative, and then uh, let's say we're trying to represent negative two, right? And so what would that bit pattern be? Well, uh, we're gonna have uh, one in the negative eight, right? And then we're gonna have four, two, and one. Right, so what do we add to negative eight to get to negative two? Well, if we add four to it, we would get from negative eight to negative four. If we add two to it, we would get from negative four to negative two. So we want a one, or sorry, we want a zero in our ones position, right? And so one, 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 zero is the same as a, is, is a nibble that represents negative two as a signed integer, right? So let's try right shifting everything by one and carrying out the sign extension and seeing what happens, right? So we right shift by one. So I might just uh, give that notation here in one position. And what that means is if we use this one uh, sign extension, we're going to have a leading one, and then we're going to have three ones, right? Because we're moving this one to the one spot, so one, this one to the two spot, so one there, this one to the four spot, right? And then this leading one was the one that I, I, I plugged in due to sign extension. So now our bit field is one, 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 one. Well, what is that? Well, again, if we went and calculated the sign here, there's a special trick. In, in this common pattern, you'll see that you should know after having worked with this a little bit, which is if you see a signed bit field that's all ones, 
you know that that's a, that means negative one, right? So this is gonna be a negative eight plus four plus two plus one, that's negative one. What's the relationship between negative two and negative one? Well, negative two is, uh, if you divide negative two by two, it's the same as that results in a negative one value. And so if we use the sine extension rule, and we treat a, a, a right shift by one as division, it turns out that's a much more efficient way to divide by two than doing uh, a full-on division algorithm. Just saying, oh, this is a, a special case of division, we're just gonna shift everything to the right by one and not worry about the remainder or uh, the, the modulo of this, right? And this works whether we're working with uh, negative numbers, if we use sine extension in this way, or positive numbers by backfilling in that zero. Right, so this is a pretty cool trick. Similarly, on the converse of this, uh, if we left shift one position, that's the same as multiplying by two. If we left shift two positions, both by four, three, uh, by eight, and so by powers of two. And so there's some clever optimizations that compilers wind up doing uh, to take advantage of, of this. But that's sort of the motivation, um, the, the reason why you get this sign extension in right shifting uh, is because there are these scenarios where preserving that one and, and treating it as if like, okay, we're actually dividing by two and, and this might be a negative number. Um, and otherwise it would have been noise anyway, right? You shouldn't really, like the fact that you're, whatever you backfill in isn't typically use, useful uh, because it's just, it's coming from nowhere. It's some just default convention. Uh, and, and, and in that case, why don't we use it so that we actually get this second interesting feature out of it. Uh, and that's another example of some like really, like it's a, it's a clever trick to sign extend on a right shift like this. All right, so these are our uh, bitwise operators. There are some variations of this that are much like your arithmetic assignment operators, where you can, uh, just like you can say i is assigned i plus one, or i plus equal one, or i uh, gets reassigned to itself plus one. Well, those same types of reassignment operators work with bitwise operators too. The single ampersand equal is a bitwise and, and so, uh, this is actually a really convenient notation that you'll find useful in many frequent, uh, you'll frequently find useful in many different places as you're working uh, bitwise. You see it all the time in uh, many real world programs as well. You'll get to try your hand with these operators uh, in the next lab. As reference, there's also going to be this table which gives all of the bitwise operators around the edge uh, as well as uh, Oops, there's the last table here, that's the one sign extended, and that, remember, it's the, the high order bit is what's going to influence this. Uh, and then as well as the ASCII table and the table for converting between hex, binary, and decimal. Uh, and so if you wanna print this off, I think this would be handy to have uh, at your table as you're working on the exercises and uh, the next lab. These are bitwise operators. They're, uh, you really, it's worth thinking through all of this on pencil and paper, and when you're working with these, I think bef until you get fully comfortable writing out exactly what you think is happening and confirming your intuition is gonna be important because oftentimes it's hard to introspect this uh, in a very simple and straightforward way because ultimately you're working with integers or characters uh, and are gonna have to refer back to a table or some other means of, of dumping your binary data. Uh, and so just working through these, getting some intuition for them, getting a feel for it, and, and being able to fluently go back and forth between hex and uh, nibbles and, and decimal is a really valuable skill to have as a systems programmer. Okay. Right. Almost say I think bitwise operator. <laughs> in C. Okay. Okay. Not such a big deal, but something you didn't have to do before. But you know what, in C, you're also going to... Pwedeng ulitin pa natin ang isa. Parang gusto kong ulitin eh. Uh, balikan natin. May tanong pa ako, no? Yes. Doon po sa left shift ng ano, kanina, left shift operator. Ah. Sinusunod natin po ba yung higher order number kagaya nung sa right shift? Yung panwari, one po yung mataas na number. So, one po yung magtutuloy-tuloy. Ah, kasi doon sa kabila, zero ang dinagtag, no? Hindi po kasi doon po sa right shift po kasi, hmm. dalawa po, pag zero yung nauna, zero yung, zero yung mga susunod na magre-replace. Tapos pag 1 naman po, 1 yung susunod na magre-replace. Ganun din po ba pag 
ano? Apag doon sa shift. doon sa left shift, hindi, Opo. zero zero lang talaga. Zero lang, zero zero lang, lang talaga siya. Okay, pwedeng ano, para lang gusto ko lang ulitin para ma-rephrase tayo, no? Okay. Oh, It's not uncommon for systems programmers to need access to their data at the bit level. And bitwise operators give you the ability to do that. Bitwise operators are common to not only the C programming language, but to many other languages as well. And you might be thinking, well, Java is not necessarily a systems language, or Python is not. Why would these languages need bitwise operators? When you're working with data formats that are commonly used on the internet, or that you're commonly used in programs, uh, saved by programs, these formats are often encoded in various ways that make use, and in that case, what As reference, there's also going to be this table, which gives all of the bitwise operators around the edge, uh, as well as, uh, oops, there's the last table here, that's the one sign extended, and that, remember, it's the, the high order bit is what's going to influence this. Uh, and then as well as the ASCII table and the table for converting between hex, binary, and decimal. Uh, and so if you want to print this off, I think this would be handy to have uh, at your table